Hello, you're watching Strategy Games Commentary, and this is the Jack bringing you a Supreme Commander 2 game, and it's another four player free for all. You can see we've got myself down there who is Cyberin, we have you who is Salsa Cyberin, we have Multi Melter is UF, damn demolishers, and we have Lobster who is also Cyberin, damn power detonate. So let's get it started and watch everyone slowly build their mass points. And the odd person will probably build a scout plane, namely me. I do like my scout planes and I do like my cyber in air early game, so maybe I can mess someone up with that. Looks like Luster's gonna go for the early air scout as well. Clearly we both went for the cheaper buildings and faster building buildings, cause hey when you're cyber in, why the hell not? You need every bit of speed you can get just to push as many structures and units out as possible. Fortunately it allows me to push way forward, I mean look at that, zoom 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 off I go, build mass point as I pass it and then continue on to build my Ford factories which you may know, more air factories, oh yes I'm going to troll factory with air factories so too bad for you, he's gonna suffer especially if he does not get adapters up there anytime soon fortunately for him he is going land so he's probably going to have adapters eventually meaning my troll factories will have a limited use but they'll still be able to troll and that's what matters and I'm getting a free plane kill here on Nope, he actually managed to escape. Damn planes and their stupid turn arcs. Unfortunately, he is going over towards Lobster, so he may or may not die. I give up. He can draw Kaze's plane, I don't know why. Maybe he just didn't want me to kill it. I've got my first factory up. There's like Lobster trying to bomb my engineer, nothing I can do about it. Sending my two planes as much as I run as it is, I do get one plane, so it's not a complete waste. And at least four planes will have a harder time killing an engineer. I have my second factory up, but my first factory is getting counter attack missiled, so go ahead and do something about that. It looks like I did kill a mass point at one point, and yay me, and it looks like Lobster is getting massacred by Maui Melter's planes. He's got a lot up early, you can always rely on a UF for that, but beyond air defense, they're kinda useless. Fortunately, you can also supply tanks with that and demolishers, and they become a reckoning force of death. Hopefully, we won't allow him to get that far. Now that you can see, you has broken the golden rule of NG rules. No research, but yeah, there's a reason why I continued on with this game. I wouldn't rage quit either way. I'd just be disappointed. But mainly, yeah, I still kill him, and that's what matters. He spends so much mass building those research stations. He has literally nothing to defend himself. He's got nothing to defend in his back base, so I take the opportunity to do deal with that. As you'll see momentarily, as lobsters taking advantage of multi melters planes, that, and I took the advantage of going for the tanks. Free, ma free mass, free research is always free research. Those like lobster killed all the planes with relative ease. And I did push back the tanks, and you can see me here bombing the factory shield, hoping to get through it even just to kill the adapters, but did not work. So I decided, well, let's force those adapters back and go for his back base. Get a three point, three kill here. I did target the power gen because with that positioning, I did actually assume it was a shield, especially after seeing the research. So then I go around killing mass point after mass point, off goes the adapters, and you can see my factory attack missiles are doing so much better. How do I, it looks like multi melter is still determined to kill lobster. He's even he did get a radar, but that's about it. Not entirely worth it. And use adapters are grouped up so much so that bombing them is painless. I do lose the odd plane, but yeah, use out the game now. There was all those adapters. He can't pull any more from the front, or else he will start losing things again. Just like I lost my two mass points in radar to one factory. You gives up at this point, knowing full well he can't continue. And now it's between myself, Lobster, and Multi Melter. What will happen? Well, hopefully, I didn't sacrifice too many planes up over you, but we will shall see. Does look like Lobster's got more, and the fact he's denied me two mass points, and there's nothing I can do about it is a big problem. If only this factory was here, it'd be much more defensive. But oh well, what can you do? It, like, it looks like I am retaliating against his commander anyway. Unfortunately, my factors are too far away to deal with his factory, and. That completely prevents me from building on here. Oddly enough, I have an army of engineers for God knows what reason. 
And it was like dance of planes between me and Lobster. I'm trying to draw how many factors they have AA on them, but Lobster massively outnumbers me here, and I do not even have factor AA, unfortunately. And it looks like I'm getting massacred in the air. And there's all my planes dead. Balls. But there's a factor AA late. But at least it's there, and here comes Mount Melter to pick up the pieces. I leg it with my comms, so maybe some form of survivability. I did reclaim all the mass here, it was in those research centres, so all good for me. And Mount Melter enjoying getting three kills here. How annoying. Yeah. And it looks like Lobster's taking on the weak, weak Mount Melter now, who has very little to defend himself. He does have the odd mobile AA and odd plane, but. Against this many cyber and planes, it's not gonna work. Lobster isn't even caring about going after the planes, he's just bombing the factories. There are two factories dead and two passes, and next engineering mass points, no doubt. Hopefully, it won't come near me, who's trying to rebuild. It looks like my melter has just forgot about this land force, he's too preoccupied up here. Let's hope it stays this way, it's good for me. Gives me more chance to rebuild. Nope, he's not as damn. Well, that was short lived. But anyway, Lobster is just destroying Multi Melter's back base with all these planes, and there's absolutely nothing Multi Melter can do about it, which is unfortunate. And there goes all the mass points, meaning, yep, no point continuing fighting there, but what it could do is take out this mass point, this mass point, this mass point, and leave him completely crippled. Is that what he does? No, it looks like he's. Gearing up for something, and there they going for the, I don't know what he's going for. He's going for the factory. He's edging his way in there, and unfortunately, he's coming towards me, which I am not a fan of. He's not giving me a chance to rebuild, and he may go for my comm. Not desirable at all. I'm going to need to get a shield in that factory, and build another factory with a shield. I'm, going to, I'm cutting it close. I'm cutting it real close. Ah, there's a first shield up. Oh god, it's not going to live long. Fortunately, second fact is up. Get that shield up. Get that shield up. And shield just in time. Here comes more planes. Hopefully, the fact is able to push him away. And it does. Fortunate for me, but Moment Melter is not getting a chance to rebuild at all. He's not even rebuilt a single mass point yet. He is not getting a chance to rebuild. He has built more AA towers, oddly enough. But against this many planes, three AA towers is not going to help. I mean, the anarchists are probably more useful if you spread them out. And here we go, and our mass point in factory gone. That is a lot of planes. I think there's about 100 there, maybe. 80 to 100 planes. Quick estimation there. And it looks like he's even taking his time to kill the power gens. I don't know why. But I guess. Mount Merrick gives up, which means it's a big problem for me. I have absolutely two, five, about ten planes worth of defence here. And Lobster's going for my secret base that Mount Merrick never got a chance to finish, and he's making sure it goes away. He must have the radar upgrade. Going straight for the mass points, and Factory has a lot of planes. Kills Engineer, mass point, other mass point, my planes are just. My planes just don't know what to do at this point. This is there's nothing I can do. This is a GG moment, cause it is game over. There's nothing left but to troll, and that, by trolling, lots of AA towers with the fire rate upgrade. <laughs> it's the way to do it. Ah oh, god, kills the factory, reclaim it. Kills the mass point, reclaim it. Get as many AA towers up as possible. One plane down. Two planes down. So I saw there. How many planes will my AA towers kill? Three planes down? Four, five, six? And the rest were mine. Oh, seven! Go away, AA towers of death! Just a, just about a hundred more. Come on! See, they're actually very good. Cyber and AA towers are probably the most devastating, but when that happens. Doesn't matter how many kills you get, cause it's game over. At least I took as many planes as I could with me. And there you have it, there's a game over already, and it's only 23 minutes into the game. 
10 minutes into the video because I left on speed 4 for whatever reason. If you enjoyed watching the game, you can check out the channel for more and you can always subscribe. And I'm, and I'm sure if Lobster Good, he'd be power detonating, power detonating his planes. So, yeah.